Right hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now for you subscribers that are already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you'll know I am put a video up about stoves, I'm going to say for a good four or five months. And this is my very first titanium stove. Now, I don't know how to say it without sounding like I'm bidding this brand up too much, but many people told me to get titanium stoves in the past. And I've always been, you know, the person what goes to Amazon buying the cheap £20 stoves, even the ones for £12, just to, you know, check them out and have a look at them. But while camping international sent me this titanium stove. Now, I'm going to give you a quick run through it today. If you want to see more about it and me using it for cooking, you can click on the video below. I did a stealth camp using this stove. Now, it's pretty simple to put together. You can see I've had a little bit of warp in there, but I was burning this stove for, I'm going to say, two hours. I think it is 218 grams. It's absolutely nothing. It's so lightweight. So when you get the stove, it comes in this. These are quite cheap tarry cases. It's not fantastic. So you get two pot holders for the top you can make an X or I think you can place it over I'll, I'll show you that you know, in a little bit and then you get three of this design now you can see how it's turned blue so I did give it a proper good fire like I said two hours last night so a really good fire test and you get one of these main doors this is your feeding door and then you get an ashtray for the bottom what has warped a little bit with the heat but I'm not surprised like I said two hours of firing it last night and like I said you get three of these ones so these are the sides so it's quite simple you can see where these ones are slotted down and these ones are slotted up so you just slot them into place like so and then this one's got you see the three cutouts here well extra metal let's say stick them in there in there like that so it hangs out through the stove at this side and then you've got your front what's your feeding door now you can see this one is pointing down and this one's pointing up so you have to match it with the door one to click in place this is a little bit tricky but once you've done it a few times and you've moved the metal a little bit well let's say titanium once you've moved the titanium metal it fits together extremely easily now I did think you could put these pot holders, pan holders, whatever you want to call them, crossways like that, but you can't. What I'm going to have to do is, it goes from corner to corner, slot it down like that. And your next one, you see how you've got this cut out there, if I can show you it there. This one's got it here, you need to put that banging in the centre. If you've got stoves already, you no doubt, you know, you've probably use that design on top and that's all it is basically it's just like that extremely lightweight 218 grams now I'll run over some measurements and then we'll put it to the fire test once again so you guys can see from here to here is six inch the top where you're gonna put your pot or your cup is four inch square at the top and at the bottom it opens up to five inch at the bottom where you're going to be feeding your wood now i'm not sure you can put in a, a gas burner in there you might better do that's up to you if you want to try it and the feeding door at the front is slightly under three inch but it's a decent size to put wood in like i say un 218 grams unbelievable got enough air vents there for the airflow to come in Cause the fire to stay light so it pushes all the heat up to the top so you can boil your water. We will put a kettle on it and you can see it doing that as well. It's it's not bad is it? And I like the way it's turned blue once the metal's heated up. It sort of gives it, you know, an age sort of look. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this stove onto this uh, little flag what I found here and then we're gonna have a fire in it. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill it up with some small pieces of 
well, I won't say dry wood, but I spilt some water, so there's a few little wet spots on the wood, but nothing to uh, worry about. Other pieces will take flame, and that'll work as well. Then what I need to do is get these little cotton things wrapped up in a, I think it's wax, should I say? There we go. So there's a few different ways people like to use these, let's say fire boxes, because basically that's all they are. All we're doing is keeping the fire inside of this box so it diverts the heat to a pan you're going to boil water to something that you're cooking different stoves do come in different sizes thickness of metal uh, different metals i've got some stainless ones some galvanized ones this is my very first titanium one like i've already said but some people like myself i like to start off small and i basically just pack it up so i get a really good flame going some other people like to do it like this without the wood in the bottom put really long pieces in and as it burns just keep feeding it in so you don't have to keep looking around for the wood because you've got all that to burn just by gently forcing it into the fire as and when it's burning myself i do enjoy doing it this way it gives me something to do while the fire's kicking off and starting basically just gently feeding pieces in at a time now any type of stove is down to the own personal use. I'd be willing to pay that little bit of extra money for a lightweight titanium stove or they're happy to pay, you know, cheaper money to get the stainless ones. This one is £28 on Amazon for a titanium stove. Six inch height across at the top is four inch like I've already said. 218 grams, it's a hell of a lot lighter than some other stoves that I've got. Would you pay the £28 for it? Do a comment below let me know. And if you think, you know what? It's not bad, £28. I'd buy it. Please do give the video a thumbs up so I know. Just for future videos, really. Like I say, I just do enjoy sitting here, sticking bits of wood in like so. You poss possibly could find cheaper titanium stoves on Amazon, eBay. If you look around, deal time, you know, like Christmas time and stuff like that, you may find them a bit cheaper. But this one from Wild Camping International, it is a good stove. I really do like using it now. Does it mean I'm going to stick to titanium stoves all the time? No, I still use stainless ones. I like to come on to the channel with a, you know, different ranges of stoves. And that's what I'm going to be bringing back to the channel, people. Probably once or twice a month. We'll come back to the channel. Oh, the smoke. We'll come back to the channel with a new stove. Maybe if I can't find a new stove that I don't already have, we'll compare two different stoves that I have. Like, say, the bush box and the firebox stove. We'll compare them together. Maybe I might spend a bit of money and get the titanium firebox stove. And then we'll compare the, the stainless one to the titanium one. Who knows? But I really do want to work on these stoves again on my channel because... I enjoy getting them and I enjoy using them. Just to see how it's burning right now is, you know, quite satisfying to me. Right, well, it'd be very rude not to make a drink. Now, I don't want the fire too big, so I don't want it melting the uh, rubber on the handles. So what we'll do is we'll just slowly start feeding it from now on, a bit at a time. All stoves like this are all going to do to this point. There's none of these stoves on market that won't get to this stage. You can have a fire in it. Yeah, it might warp in the creases here. It might move to the, you know, the heat of the fire. But many stoves I've had are good to get to this stage. It's how big do you want them, what do you want it made out of, and most of all, what a lot of people go for is how light can we get them.
and this is the way I were on about earlier. Once these die down, you can just gently feed them in. I've had to crop them up with these other pieces of sticks here, just to give them that, you know, the, the lean into the fire, because they were leaning upwards. But once they start burning like they are now, there's absolutely no reason why we can't leave it like that. So you can see how it's now diverting the flames up. And as they burn, we'll just slowly slide them in. Right, so I've emptied the stove. It was burning for about another 40 minutes. So how easy is it to take apart once you've burnt in it? So the top comes off all right, the pot holders. Quickly, just before I do say, you know, all else, it'd be nice if do an ash catching tray underneath, but yeah, it'll add a little bit more weight. But if you're gonna have this on the ground, it would be nice to have like an ash catcher, you know, added to it. But this is just fine as it is, you know. It's no major problem. Now, to take it apart, Simply pull any of the four corners and then they just slide off. There's one. And then what you can do once it's like this, take the fire tray out and just simply slide it apart. And that is the six inch by four inch by five inch at the bottom stove titanium wild camping international titanium stove very easy now if you want to see more videos like this i'll just turn the camera a bit like this if you want to see more videos like this plus wild camping and other sorts of videos to do with the outdoors you can press this here by subscribing to my channel some videos will pop up there, maybe some more stove review links and some camping links. I'll share a link into the description of this video for this stove. They'll take you to Amazon, check that out if you want. But for now, thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll definitely see you next time.